So today I'm just going to give you a bit of a run through on how we measure retouch for your final assignment. So the first thing that we've got in our spreadsheet is whether or not we have unifacial or bifacial retouch. And as you'd know, unifacial retouch is where we have retouch just going onto one side like we do here, onto the dorsal, so coming from the ventral. And we can see that it's retouched, of course, because we've got all the little initiations along the edge which come from the ventral and the flake scars go onto the dorsal, so that's unifacial dorsal retouch. Whereas bifacial retouch um, looks like this. Here we've got the ventral surface and we've got retouch coming onto the ventral as well as onto the dorsal. And once again, we can see little initiations in places along the edge indicating that they are, that that's dorsal retouch and on the ventral surface if you look carefully along there we can see those initiations again. So you'll record in your spreadsheet whether you've got unifacial or bifacial retouch. The next thing that you're going to be measuring is the length of retouch. So if we look at our scraper here, our unifacial scraper, it's very easy to measure our length of retouch on this one uh, because it basically runs the entire length of that edge. So it goes from right here all the way down to this end here. So we're simply going to measure the length of that retouch. And here it's 125 millimeters. And the next thing that we're going to do is then add up the perimeter of the flake. So we can basically work our way around and we can say that's 25. This one was 125, so that's 150. And then you can just do it in segments if it's curved like this, so 190, um, 255, and 290 in total. So in your spreadsheet when you enter those two pieces of information, length of retouch and perimeter of flake, it will calculate for you the percentage of that perimeter that actually shows retouch. Oh, I'd probably have to add this little bit of retouch onto our perimeter as well, onto our length of retouch. Okay, the second technique that you're going to measure is our CUN or GIUR, Geometric Index of Unifacial Reduction, and that's described in your PRAC worksheet for this week. But how do we actually measure it? So the, typically what we do, it's only suited to unifacial retouch, so this kind of classic scraper retouch, which is reasonably steep and unifacial on the dorsal. So how we would measure it, usually we'd take this measurement at three points equidistant along the edge. And all we do, it's quite simple, is if we look side on, we just use our calipers to measure from the ventral surface up to the height of the highest retouch scar. At a certain point so here we can see the retouch ends at, at this measurement point up here so our retouch height at that point is 23 and that's our little t so in your GIUR worksheet that'll be GIUR t1 little t1 and then our big t is GIUR t1 the big t that's thickness so at the same point we measure the overall thickness of the flake and we can see that the flake is slightly thicker than the retouch. So the retouch measures in at 23 and the flake thickness measures in at 24. And we do that at two other points along the edge, so we might do it here. Retouch goes up to 26, thickness 26 as well. And down here it's slightly less, so here it's 15 and the thickness of the flake is slightly more, 16. So that's telling us that along this edge because our little t is almost as big as our big t all the way along, that, that whole edge, the thickness of that flake has been used up along that edge because the retouch comes all the way to the top. If our retouch had only gone halfway up, so 5 and then 10 was thickness, it would be telling us that 50% of that edge height has been used up. So we found Kuhn Index or GIUR to be a useful way of measuring how much of the weight of the edge of the flake has been removed or a percentage of the overall weight has been removed as that GIUR index increases between 0 and 1 because it's expressed as the ratio of height of retouch to thickness. So if it's 5 versus 10, it would be 0.5, meaning halfway up. So 0.5, we might expect 40% of the mass or something has been removed from the flake if we have an average of 0.5. Okay, that's our GIUR. Now the next one that we do is our index of invasiveness. Now we could do that on unifacial and bifacial retouch tools. Um, and what, the way we do it is that we basically divide up our flake into segments, and you'll see 
precise instructions for this in the PRAC worksheet. But what we do is we divide our flake notionally into segments. Maybe I'll just draw on the flake here to indicate what I mean. Okay, so let's divide our flake first of all into four equal segments. So we have a proximal, a, um, proximal end, a proximal, a medial, a distal end, and a distal end. Then let's further divide that into lefts and rights, at least for these middle three ones. So now we have proximal end, left proximal, right proximal, left medial, right medial, left distal, right distal, and distal end. Now let's do one more thing, and that's conceptually, we won't actually draw in our artifacts normally, divide it into an inner and an outer zone. So roughly halfway between the edge and that middle line. So now I've put a line there all the way around. So our inner zone and our outer zone. And for each segment, what we then do is we go around and we score what, uh, what we're seeing around the outside. So, oops, taking a piece of paper, like so, we'll go now around the piece and we'll score it. This is for the ventral surface. So we do this for the ventral and the dorsal. So on the proximal end, we're going to see whether or not any of our retouch comes into this inner zone here, into this zone. Okay, so here we can see that yes, some of these retouch flake scars, they do come into that inner zone there. So we'd give the proximal end equals a score of one. The same thing happens on our left proximal. Some of these scars are coming right into that inner zone, so that'll have one as well. That's left proximal. Right proximal, same thing. Some of the scars are going right into the middle here. Let's move down. Now this time on our left medial segment, the scars don't penetrate into this inner zone. So we give that one a score of 0.5. On the right, we can see that this scar here does penetrate. So that's going to be one. Left distal, is going to have a score of 0.5 because the retouch does not penetrate into that inner zone. It does, however, on the right distal. So we call it right distal, RD, is 1. And for the distal end, none of the retouch penetrates into that inner zone there. So distal end equals 0.5. And if we had a zone anywhere on the flakes, for instance on the dorsal side, in our uh, left proximal perhaps, we might say that there's no retouch here at all. So that would give, be given as a score of zero. So then we would add those up. One, two, three, four, five, six, six point five out of eight. And that would give us an index of zero point eight one two. So that's saying basically about eighty one percent of the surface of the ventral is covered in flake scars. And we do that for both surfaces. On the right, I'll just score them quickly. Top proximal end, we've got penetration all the way to here, so that's one. Left proximal, uh, I'll just make that a slightly bigger zone actually. Put our inner and outer zone on. Okay, proximal end has a score of one. Left proximal, a score of zero. Left, right proximal has a score of one. Left proximal one, right proximal one, left distal one, right distal one, and distal end, uh, probably 0.5. So here we add those up, one, two, three, four, five, six, six point five again. So we know now that if we divide those two scores by, add those two scores up and we get 13 out of 16 which should also give us 0.812. Yes, 0.812. So our index of invasiveness, II, equals 0 0.812. So that's how we calculate index of invasiveness. And your spreadsheet has got all of those zones in it, left proximal, right proximal, and so on, for the distal and for the dorsal and the ventral. So you just go through and type in 0 0.11 and so on, and it'll calculate the index of invasiveness for you. 
A couple of other little things we've got in the spreadsheet are whether or not some of the retouch on the edge is stepped. So in that case you would say yes, the retouch is stepped. Um, we can also go through and add up how many of our segments on our piece are retouched. So here we can see we've only got one segment that has a score of zero. Everything else is re has retouch in it. So our segments, our retouch segments equals 17 out of 18. So that's a lot of retouch. Uh, and that's about all we need to calculate. There is another one on the end that you might want to include and that's our retouch curvature. So we can think about retouch as being straight. It can be uh, have curves like so or it can be a, a simple curved um, edge uh, and it can also occur in multiple different patches on a flake. And what we can do to measure curvature is we can just take the diameter between one end of the retouch and the other and how far it sticks out. So on this one where it's a simple curved edge our diameter might be 10 and how much it sticks out might be 3. So 3 divided by 10 tells us that it sticks out about 0.3 or 30% of its diameter. So you'll find the measurements for that under retouch curvature. We've got depth, which is how far it sticks out, and we've got diameter, how long the area of retouch is. And that'll calculate an index of curvature for you as well. So those are our retouch measurements, and hopefully you'll be able to measure those now on your specimens for your homework as well as for your final assignment.